Hey, welcome to Travel Highlights. I'm Rob Scribner. Now, you're probably wondering what this show is all about. Well, we travel to some of the most breathtaking locations to show you some of the greatest travel highlights that might transform your next trip into one that you'll remember forever. Now, we'll be covering topics like where and how to get there, the climate, historical and geological facts, a little bit of the activities, and some of the local area. Now, you can see all this done through the eyes of the cameraman. And now for our first stop, Smith Rocks, Oregon. Now, Smith Rocks is located in the small town of Terrebonne, Oregon. The elevation hovers around 3,000 feet and the summit around 3,400 feet. But don't let that fool you. You have to go down before you can go back up. Weather at Smith Rock is typically very hot and dry during the summer, with temps up in the 90s, but can reach up to 100 plus. Winter temps seldom dip below 30 degrees. The best time to visit is early spring and fall. Current temp, 96 degrees. To get to Smith Rocks, you take Highway 26 south into Madrid, then take 97 south into Terrebonne. At the light, you'll see a state park sign that will guide you into the park. As soon as you get closer to the rocks, you start to realize that this is a very unique place. Now, the formation of this gorgeous place was actually quite violent. Millions of years ago, hey, hey, isn't this where you guys cue the dramatic music? That's better. Millions of years ago, this area was a major center of volcanic activity with a lot of localized eruptions and lava flows that found their way into the canyon and forced the crooked river to reroute. The river eventually eroded the landscape and shaped this beautiful place known as Smith Rocks. Latest activity, inactive. Now this rock right here is actually considered welded tough. And what that is, is it's volcanic ash that has erupted under extreme heat and pressure, making this a very popular place with rock climbers because this stuff, it doesn't crumble easily. Now no one really knows the exact story on how Smith Rocks got its name. One story suggests that it was named after Private Yoke Smith, a U.S. Cavalry soldier who fell to his death in 1863. Another story suggests it was named after former Lynn County Sheriff and State Legislator John Smith, who reportedly discovered the rocks back in 1867. However, with a name like Smith, about a third of the country could actually claim the discovery of these rocks. So for now, it's going to remain a speculation. Smith Rocks has become a world-renowned destination for rock climbing. The rocks were made famous back in the 80s and is now considered the birthplace for sport climbing. There are over 1,500 climbing routes these days. Permanent anchors have been placed on some of the routes where there are inadequate cracks and depressions to help make for a safer and enjoyable climb, and now more than a thousand routes are bolted. The rocks are very climber friendly and well maintained. All ranges of skill levels are welcome. Clean techniques are encouraged and a good understanding of your own skill level is a must. Aside from all the rock climbing, there's so much more to be seen and done. There are miles and miles of hiking trails out here, and God knows how many of them I've had to travel just to get this. You can spend a few hours hiking around the river's edge or spend half a day hiking around the whole formation, not to mention the wonderful trail that leads up to the top known as Misery Ridge. This is a must do for your trip to Smith Rocks. But please stay on the trails as it's the plants that actually hold this mountain together. This is a great place for viewing wildlife. There is an abundance of mule deer, golden eagles, prairie falcons, river otters, beavers, and much, much more. For the fishing enthusiasts, the Crooked River provides awesome fly fishing, and not to mention the spectacular view provided by the high canyon walls and the towering Smith Rocks. Just remember, there are no campfires and no RVs. Day passes are required year round, costing about $3. You can actually spend all day at Smith Rocks and never even scratch the surface of what this park has to offer. I guarantee you'll have an amazing adventure exploring the rocky cliffs of Smith Rock, but why let it in there? On your way out, stop by the Rock Hard Climbing Guide Building for outstanding huckleberry ice cream. They've been making this stuff for 40 years now. But if you're looking for a slightly bigger meal, head on back into the town of Terrebonne to the Smith Rock Restaurant for some of the best burgers you'll ever have. And trust me, it's worth it. Smith Rocks really is a must-see and do in your lifetime. It's not hard to see the beauty in the world when you come here or the awesome power of nature at its finest here at Smith Rocks. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Rob Scribner, and we'll see you next time on Travel Highlights. Now all I have to do is get down with 20 pounds of camera gear. It was worth it. Just keep telling yourself that, man.